Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a monster unboxing for you. So, I could have split this up into a couple videos, but I was like, eh, why not just do a big unboxing? It's mostly a bunch of little knickknack stuff, and then a knife. Um, but it's all, like, stuff. Like, the knife I've already reviewed, sort of, and... Anyway, I'll get into it. So, unboxing knife today is the Avatech Shadow Ranger. Bang. All right, so, first up, real quick, KPL, guys. I rave about them all the time. I absolutely love knife pivot loops. So, what had happened was, I reached out to them on Instagram, and I said, yo, would you guys like to sponsor Lefty Live? So I have a live show every Thursday night at 8.15. And uh, I try to give stuff away when I can, but it's always like I am buying the knife. I am buying whatever it is that I'm giving away, right? So it gets expensive. And I already have an affiliate link with Knife Pivot Lube. Uh, I do pretty well through it. You guys seem to like to use the code, so... You get, I think, 10% off, and then I get like a 5% commission or something, which basically turns into more KPL shit that I can give away. But anyway, I asked them if they would sponsor the live, and they said yes. So they sent me a box of stuff. So this is the first box, and basically, um, on every live show, I'll give away one thing. It's not going to be anything big. You'll get like a bottle of KPL and a sticker. And if I get somebody else to sponsor it as well, great. Maybe I'll have more to include. And every once in a while, there's going to be a knife in there, right? But KPL is just supplying uh, their products for you guys. So uh, big shout out to Knife Pivot Lube for that. So real quick, we have um, a two-pack of KPL, original and heavy. Another one right here. So we got two of those. Uh, we obviously have... Knife Pivot Lube sticker. I love that. It's just a bottle of KPL. Um, we have KPL Original. It uh, looks like we have a bunch of those. KPL Originals. Um, another one. So that's good. More stickers. This is awesome. Uh, oh, this is one of their maintenance kits. So you get some of those microfiber tips, a little bit of Loctite, a bottle of KPL, and a microfiber cloth. That's a, that's a win right there, guys. And then we have uh, two packs of the 50-piece um, microfiber Q-tips that I always rave about. They're so good for cleaning your knives. So, I mean, all of that, you know, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine weeks worth of giveaway stuff here. And then when I run out, I'll let them know, and I guess they'll send me more. Um, you know, hopefully you guys order some stuff in the meantime to make them stick with me on it. But um, that's awesome, right? Um, so we have plenty of giveaway stuff. I might use it for On the Edge as well because it's another live stream. Why not, right? Um, so I just wanted to say thank you to Knife Pivot Loop and unbox that. So that's one thing. The next thing's pretty interesting. I got a couple of interesting ones here, guys. This is from... A, so you guys know I buy shit on Instagram, right? I, the ads, they get me all the time. I try the different foods. Like, I tried the Flock chicken skin chips. They were okay. I've tried all jerkies. I've tried all types of stuff. This is called Shinesty. Shinesty? I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be something different. Basically, it's a pair of boxers with a ball hammock. So basically your balls drop into this hammock and it's supposed to be super comfortable. So I bought a pair and I think I got like um, an interesting design or something. So let's see. In the box. All right. Nothing else in there. So here's, to, <laughs> yeah, I got this one. I forgot. It's called the blow me ups. <laughs> Basically, it's a bunch of blow-up balloons, which, you know, blow me ups. <laughs> it has a ball hammock. It's super soft, moisture wicking, bulge enhancing, anti-bunching, and room to breathe. Look at that, guys. 
I love this design. It reminded me of like, you know, my the nineties shit. I don't know how to explain it. Now I got the big size. Ooh, damn, these might be too big. So, oh yeah, these are fucking huge. Look at these, man. I mean, I'm a big dude, but it said they were true to size, and it said waist size like forty two to forty four would be this size. Um, and usually I would get a size lower because I like boxers to be, you know, snug, but they said true to size, so I gave it a shot, but these are, kind of, I mean, maybe I'm fatter than I thought, but these seem like they're going to be too big. Uh, basically there's this thing right here and I guess your balls just go in the hammock. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's got, <laughs> it's got this green thing. You see that? Your balls just drop in there. All right, I guess they're made for small balls, but whatever. So anyway, I'll give them a shot. They look like they're not going to fit, so I might have to return them and get a different size. Um, but I'll figure that out. I'm not going to show you what they look like, of course, so uh, you're going to have to imagine that on your own. Sorry. But I, maybe I'll give a review sometime. All right, next. So this one is from uh, my buddy, um, oh God, what's his, Misfit EDC, I think, is it Misfit EDC? It's Misfit, Jake Misfit. He's a really cool dude anyway. And he has a company actually where they sell cheese. It's called Worry Cheese, um, which is interesting. Hang on a second. Sorry, I, I tried doing this right after my work day and my boss reached out like, uh, anyway, so Jake Misfit, Misfit EDC, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, dude. I'll link it below, though, for sure. Uh, has this company called Worry Free Cheese. And you know how people do worry donuts and worry stones and all that shit? Well, they make these things that look like cheese. And he reached out to me and he said, hey, man, uh, would you want to check out one of these uh, worry cheese things? and try it and um he reached out to me and a couple buddies like kyle and jake dto knives and gear beer to gear and i think they both kind of were like that's not my thing which i agree it's not my thing at all but i've never tried it so i figured i would give it a shot and i'll carry the thing around and, and i'll see you know basically the point is you can't always fidget with your knife. Like in the office yesterday, because I'm now going back to the office twice a week, I find myself sitting there wanting to grab my knife and fidget with it. It's literally like an urge I have to repress, because at home I'm so used to just, you know. And um, so maybe this will work. I don't know, but it's not really fidgety. It's just something to hold. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm interested so I wanted to give it a shot, and he had 4th of July themed ones. And I figured that made sense, because it's almost 4th of July. And, um, yeah. So I got a red, white, and blue worry cheese. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about it. Now I told him, you know, I said this isn't my kind of thing, right? It's not my cup of tea. Uh, so I may not do a video on it, like reviewing it where I may and it may not be positive and he didn't care he just wanted to get my thoughts and, and have me check it out and I appreciate that uh, he's a really cool dude I actually met him and his son at uh, Blade Show which was awesome and he really take the shit out of this Jesus dude it's just a piece of cheese okay seriously this is getting ridiculous look at this man yeah I've never gone this far with packaging a knife, and nobody has ever said a knife got there broken or something. Jesus. Um, so I don't think you need to go this crazy, people. I know a lot of people do, though, so. Fair is fair. Now I have to, it's like, the thing is, now I have to cut into it, even to get it open, so I'm almost risking more on the unboxing part, right? Ah. Got it. Jesus, dude. So yeah, they have a little company. I believe it's him and another person. 
So it says, Kevin, thank you for the support. Stay cheese driven. And, you know, all of their, like, headlines, their comments, they're all really cheesy. <laughs> Get it? I know, I'm funny. Okay, it's EDC Misfits. Jesus, I knew I was close. So here, here's some of his stickers. EDC Misfits. Some worry-free cheese stick. A magnet. Damn, they're going all out. This is a straight up business. Worry free, free cheese established 2021. Hashtag cheese driven. <laughs> uh, EDC Misfits. Buy flick release. <laughs> I like it. I like it, man. He's just a cool dude. I enjoy interacting with him. Sorry, I dropped something. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop something. So the packaging looks cool, guys. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, there's a card. Worry-free cheese. I like that. So this actually has... A, this is a COA. 221. American Cheese Batch. It says name. Flea work cheese. I don't... Free work? No, firework cheese, idiot. Uh, 6 2021 20, batch number three Americana G Carta uh, denim G Carta and titanium HW so there's actually titanium in this check out this awesome packaging right here comes in a um, have you ever had the, what are those cheeses called with the uh, cow on it that's my favorite cheese man those little wheels oh man I used to love peeling the wax layer off Somebody tell me below. I think it's got a French name. But it comes in the in this stuff. It's probably where they got it. They probably just eat all the cheese and then use the spare parts. Comes in a cool plastic case. I'm actually, like, excited to open this. And here's my cheese, guys. Let me shut this. Cool. And here's the cheese. And it looks just like one of those cheeses. So they must be modeling it after that. It's got a little baby cheese right here. And there's some uh, paracord. And then uh, here's the worry cheese, guys. Red, white, and blue. America, baby. So I don't know what is titanium. I guess the, the lanyard pin thing and maybe this thing, whatever that is. I, guys, I don't know much, so, you know. And then it's just milled out G Carta, I guess. A, a G10 in my Carta, I take it. And I guess what you do is just pop this in your pocket and carry it. And then, I don't know, like you can't really fidget with it. That's like what I'm trying to figure out here. Um, but I will uh, give it a shot and we'll see what happens. So there's your worry-free cheese, guys. Cool. All right, last up. Not least, baby, this is a knife I bought from Fanatic Edge. Is that what it is? Fanatic Edge? Yeah, I think so. I can't remember shit today. So I was talking to the guy at Blade Show, and he had these there, and I, I wanted one so bad. But I just, I don't know. I had spent enough money. I've had Chavez's before. But I walked away from that table just in regret. Like, I really regretted it, uh, not having picked one up. So, let me get these things out of the way. He did say he would send me a t-shirt, and I don't see a t-shirt in here, so... Wah! I'm sad. It's heavy, guys. Good old Chavez. Redencion 229 Tanto Stonewash Titanium Black G10. So that's the original knife, but of course, Fanatic Edge does mod work. Guys, I'm so stoked. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's just like the one I saw at Blade Show that I wanted. Oh, my lordy, lordy, lordy. Guys, frag pattern on the G10. Look at that frag pattern. And then there's the blue accents on the backspacer, the clip. I think it's some kind of Cerakote. And then you have it on the hardware as well as the thumb studs. 
Look at that, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. Dead nut centered. Oh, it flies out of there. Oh, it feels like a Chavez, baby. I miss having a Chavez in the collection. Razor ass sharp. Love the Tanto. Of course, it's M390. Got the skull clip. Ooh. Oh, that was me. Hold on. Ah. Ooh, boy. Now, the thing I really liked about the ones at Blade Show was... Bang, baby! Can reverse flick that like a beast. The detents are so much better on the newer versions. Um, oh, it just dropped shut. Um, yeah, guys. This is cool. Now, no blade play. Rock solid. For real. This thing is a beast, guys. Um, a lot of people are going to say, man, I wish it was titanium, right? That'd be even cooler. And yeah, a frag pattern on titanium would be cooler, but I actually wanted G10 because of the weight. I have had the stock version of this knife, actually, right? Yeah, satin blade, belt satin blade with G10 and, um titanium frame lock right this is the one i had but then i also had the all blacked out version but that was titanium and it just was too heavy it just added so much more weight having that extra slab of tie so i actually prefer the g10 and you get a little bit of a better grip on it i actually like it better so i am absolutely stoked to have this knife in um i have missed having a Chavez in my collection since I sold the last one. Um, I sold them because I was like, I'm not going to use those. Like, they're just going to sit around. But it's just something you have to have in your collection, in my opinion. So I'm really stoked to have it back. Look at that jimping. It's insanity. Um, and then that clip. I mean, that just, that color is amazing that he did on here. It's like a teal green or teal blue. Like a uh, marine type blue. It's really, really nice. So I'm stoked. It kind of goes with my cheese a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. A cheese and a Chavez, motherfuckers. All right. That's it, guys. That's all the stuff I had for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it was kind of long and all over the place. Um, and I showed you a pair of boxers. <laughs> um, but... You know what? I love you guys. I really do. I appreciate the community so much. Um, I try to give back when I can, like with the KPL stuff and giveaways. And uh, I just, I love interacting with you guys and it just makes my day. So um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you all and I will catch you later. <laughs>